Madam President. Senator from Iowa. Th thank you very much, Madam President. On this morning, a funeral service will be held in Sioux City, Iowa for a 44-year-old woman who began working for the people of Iowa in my office, January 1988. Mary Jo Hoffman was a loyal and trusted advisor to me and a beloved friend to my wife, Barbara, our family, and uh, many of my Senate staff who served with her more than a decade ago and still, in a sense, serving with her today. Always filled with purpose, Mary Jo spent the last two years and four months fighting cancer with the tenacity, strength, and determination that we all knew and loved about her. When Mary Jo set her mind to something, she didn't let much get in her way. She was that way when I met her when she was a bright young college student at the University of Northern Iowa, my alma mater, and she was that way when she worked effectively to serve constituents first as legislative correspondent and as scheduler and as a top aide in my Senate office, and later on when she worked for my political campaigns. I valued her judgment and appreciated her hard work and commitment to quality in every position she held. Mary Jo also taught at night as a volunteer and earned a master's degree while working on Capitol Hill. She reached out and gave to others in so many ways through her church, in her community, and even on the United States Air Force Base in Greece, where she lived for a short period of time with her husband while he was serving. Someone in need had a friend in Mary Jo. She always got a lot done, and she did it in a way that was generous, spirited, committed to ideals. Mary Jo was a person of great faith. She provided leadership wherever she went through worship and fellowship and with the example that she set with her own life. Mary Jo was a faithful witness for Christ and never more so than the darkest hours and days of her last two years. She will continue to inspire those of us who were lucky enough to have her in our lives. We all mourn Mary Jo's departure and our heart goes out to our family, including her devoted husband, Brent, mother, Karen. I know that Mary Jo's beautiful young children, Silas and Lydia, will miss her every day. I pray that they find comfort in the honorable life lived by their mother and my dear friend, Mary Jo. She served the people of Iowa and the Lord with distinction and humility. She left this world for the next with courage and grace. And I'd like to read one sentence from the Sioux City Journal, I think summing up her life. Her words were like thunder because her life was like lightning. And I ask permission to put that in the record. I yield the floor. Without objection.